As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on tools and parts I use in today's video. Today, we got this 2003 Chevrolet Envoy, and it's got a P0014, which is the variable valve timing solenoid. So, go ahead and swap this thing out. Uh, the symptoms for this thing is that it idles poorly and like it'll just shut off. Uh, so that's kind of the problems. It also had a skip code, which would be because of the poor idle and driving it with that solenoid either stuck open or whatever. It's going to cause it to skip. So let's check it out. All right. So first we're going to locate this thing. and It's going to be right here. You see, I got my ratchet on it. It's a 10 millimeter. It's right here. All data says <laughs> disconnect your uh, power steering pump like take the power steering pumps bolts off and then get behind it that way I don't see any need for that at all. Um, you basically where's that little connector? All right, it's right here. Boom. So you got this little connector. He's connected right there But you also have this little hold down plastic piece. He is clipped down in there So what you'll do is you'll come on the side of that little clip take a pick or a little Phillips and pop it up and then you'll be able to squeeze this connector, pull them up out your way. And then we've just got a 10 millimeter bolt, which is right there. So we're gonna take that bolt off and then I'll show you, we should just be able to twist them, like kind of rock them and pull them out. And we will be able to swap this part out. We'll see that here in a second. So I figured I'd show you too. I got a universal socket with these two little extensions and the 10 millimeter. And then I'm gonna just take my Milwaukee and hopefully just buzz this guy off. Let's see, there you go. Well, he's in there pretty good. And then, oh, my parts store. Parts people are here. And so I'm gonna grab that part, take the bolt off, and show you taking the sensor out. Hey guys, so I got this bolt out. Now, I'm just going to twist, 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 pull, pull, and let's get my other hand. I got a better grip on it, and this thing should just come right out. It's, well, I say that. <laughs> um, what I may have to do is get a flat head in there. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. You can see I've got a little bit of a gap in there, kind of, <laughs> and... I'll grab a flathead and just kind of pull it up like that and then stick my flathead in there, pry a little bit, and then pop this one out. Then we've got our new one right here, and we'll pop them in, put our bolt in, connect it back up, and this thing will be ready to ride. All right, so y'all are learning with me. <laughs> I was able to stick a flathead just right in there, and once that seal pops off, then you can kind of pull it out. But for whatever reason, I thought you didn't have to take the power steering pump. Apparently, you do have to take this off. Um, to do that, you get you like a 3 8 Go ahead and go right with that, and that'll bring it down. Then just pull the belt off and out of the way. You don't want it to come off all the other sprockets so that you have to look up the, the diagram or whatever. Um, next, I think we got just two 13s maybe, <laughs> hopefully. I think there's one right there and one right down below it. You can see I got my socket on that one. So what I'm going to try and do is take that one out and loosen the lower one and then just swing it to the left and then hopefully we can pull it out. We'll see how that works. Okay, I tried my darndest to not have to take that bottom one out. Um, I did end up having to take it out also. I was like, man, maybe we can just leave that one in. You have to take all three all the way out, unfortunately. But once you do that, this bolt's probably going to fall. Oh, hey, maybe I'll just stay right there. And then you can ever so slightly move this out of your way. And then, ta-da, there he goes. So out with the old. Don't get the new. I'm going to go in with the new. You can, I don't know why I'm just looking at the engine for no reason. You can take your finger, just take a little bit of that oil on the end of the old one. And it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Yeah. Here, I'm just picking up some more oil bits. And then just kind of run it around the seal. It's not like that. And all you're doing is you're just lubricating it a little bit. Make it a little bit easier going back in and if it has to come back out. So now, I'm going to take this new one. And yeah, we'll find that. And I'm going to just make sure there's no debris, right, on the new one. Um, because you don't want that in your engine. 
So now we're just gonna slide the new one in, just like that, and then you just gonna push and twist. I might use my left hand, push and twist, and it just snaps right in. Then just run your 10 millimeter in there, and then tighten it up, just snug it in there, nice and snug. You don't wanna break the bolt off in the engine. And then we're gonna hold that pump up and run our three bolts back in, tighten everything back up. Hopefully your belt did not fall off. Maybe I can kind of show you in case it does fall all the way off. Kind of like what your belt order looks like here. And then of course this belt's gonna come back over that. And then it's gonna come up over the power steering. Oh, God, there. So that is pretty much it. If I run into any more issues, like, you know, having to hold the power steering pump up in some sort of way, I'll let you know here in just a moment. But if not, thanks for watching. See you next time.